Daniel underscore O'Hare has said, My cousin has been disregarding coronavirus safety measures and has been visiting friends and not using hand sanitizer, wearing a face mask or keep or keeping even a meter away from anyone. You- oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Hey. Malcolm? Are you Malcolm? So I'm going to pretend to work for the government and I'm going to say that 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 someone with the coronavirus you have to Listen! That, that someone with the coronavirus app has tested positive to coronavirus and, you've and been he in the precinct. You have been, been in, in close precinct. proximity the precinct 5 days ago. Aaron, it's the precinct. What's that word mean? All right, here we go. I'm calling him. Shut your fuck. Hello, Kellen speaking. Hey, Callum, mate, it's just uh, Malcolm here. I'm just calling on uh, behalf of the Australian government. Um, have you got five minutes to talk, mate? Bit of a weird one. No, sorry, I'm at work. No worries. W- when are you finishing, mate? Love to have a quick, just a very quick chat with you. Just uh, regards to uh, the coronavirus app, you've been exposed to someone. Uh, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m.? No worries, mate. I'll um, give you a call in about five minutes. Wait, is that 5 p.m.? Oh, it's two. Um, let's Eastern say 5.30. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Eastern Standard Times, or are you on the uh, Great Ra- Great Dividing Range time? Um, Eastern Standard Time. No worries. So oh, if I give you a call back at, in about five minutes, is that 5.30 on the Eastern Standards Time, or are you at the back? Wait. No, it's uh, 4.40 here, so call me in about an hour's time. Well, look, I-, I was just letting you know that you've been exposed to someone who's just tested positive for uh, coronavirus in the last five days, and... Um, <laughs> What, you, you're going to need to uh, go and get tested immediately. Oh, shoot. All right. Hold up. All right. Uh, keep talking. What's going on? Yeah, so, uh, so do, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, uh, people are downloading the uh, coronavirus app that the government has issued out. And um, so we've just had uh, a few cases confirmed uh, today, and uh, one of them actually had the uh, coronavirus app downloaded, and it appears that you were in very close proximity with them in the last uh, one to five days. And... Um, Okay, I only downloaded the app yesterday, so it's going to be within those two days. Yeah, well, it, 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 exactly right. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's it's picked it up, and you, you're going to have to go in and get um, tested as soon as possible. And uh, uh, the, the the person that you have come into contact with is um is quite sick. So it's sort of um it's uh, pretty late pretty late in the progression for them but um yeah what we, we just sort of need everyone to sort of stop what they're yep. doing and head straight in um now have you been into clo- in close contact with anyone at your work today yeah i'm a truckie so i've had my offsider with me the whole day and i've delivered to about 15 different people yeah fuck it yeah look, look uh you, you're gonna have to they're, they're all gonna have to that. uh well, uh, as soon as as soon as you go into the doctors, they're going to know the the protocol to follow. But you're just going to have to jot down all their names and numbers, and bring them in with you. And they'll have to take okay. some take some blood tests, do some nasal swabs, and they'll also have to do an <laughs> anal cavity swab just to make sure that you don't have any of the um, the coronavirus in you. How are your How are you feeling? Any symptoms? Any sort of cold or flu like symptoms? Any fevers? Um. Well, I was working in the rain last week, so I was. So like I was kind of fighting off a cold. Yeah. Um. That that's been all good. I've got a little bit of a sore throat right now, but I just drank some refrigerated oh, water, and it's common for it to have that effect. So you've had. So you you you're saying that you actually have a sore throat right now. That's actually the first symptom. Yeah, I know. And, and it's the sore throat and the coughing. Yeah. Um, have you I had? Put it down as normal because I just drank refrigerated water, and that happens often when I do. Yeah. Right. Have you had any sexual intercourse with anyone over the last five days? Nope. Okay, um, my one guess that could blow it away is because I'm driving around a lot and I have the Bluetooth on while I'm driving. Is there a chance someone's been in the car and I've come into contact? Like, just very, awesome? very it's possibly, airborne. mate. It's Look, we're, we're, we're just sort of getting all the data just gets sent into us. You, who knows? You could have just driven past someone, you know what I mean? Like, you might have even like been in actual close proximity with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might have yeah. actually been standing right next to them. But the app, you know, we're just sort it's of trying. Wrong. It doesn't tell us that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't quite tell us that you could have just driven past someone. But if you've got a sore throat and it's coming up, you've been flagged on the app as being close to someone in the last five days, you need to get in there immediately because there's a 85 to 90% chance that, that you've actually got it's coronavirus. And you need to tell all of your family and friends to stay the fuck away from you because you could all be fucked from this. I'm talking long-term lung damage and maybe even tumors. 
lung damage in tumors. Mate, all the new research is saying huge testicle tumors. 5G. 5G well, and shit. This doesn't sound overly professional. Mate, mate, mate. You don't, you don't, oh, you don't know what you're get dealing with, man. Get fucking get, get in cut. there, man. Fucking get in there and get it all checked before the fucking button hits the roof. You're starting to laugh now. I thought my uh, app would give me a notification if I ever came into contact. Mate, app, that app it? is fucked, man. That app is fucked. Delete it, cunt. That's you're clicking all your fucking resources and information, bro. You need to know something, all right? You you aren't this this isn't real. You are living in an alternate reality. It's a simulation. This is a simulation, and we are the owners. And we're coming to collect. Say sorry, say sorry. You need say to sorry. apologize to me, otherwise I won't take this any further. Snapping at me. The jaws of death. No, you're actually on a prank call on the Marty and Michael. Oh, you shouldn't have fucking told him. Fully actual podcast. One of your mates sent your number in and he's trying to stitch up. <laughs> you shouldn't have told him, dude. He needed to know I could. we were losing him. We were losing no, him. No, there's no way you guys were going to be uh, from the government if you're swearing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we weren't very yeah. professional. I when I said I'd been around 20 people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to try and make it a bit more exciting just to see what you'd say. He was being frantic. You're... Oh, you did it right at first. No, that, that no. Wasn't too bad. no, you did good. Your, uh, your mate Daniel uh, sent yeah, your number in. Yeah, it was Daniel. Yeah. He's been busy, you fellas, for a long time. Oh, uh, well. oh my God. That was... I'm like fully hard right now. Thank I'm you for being in. a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, dude. Be strong and stay, stay swim. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, I, that was we just fully winged that. Then, like, I thought you were gonna hang up. I thought you were gonna hang up early on. <laughs> You at work my ass. Oh, that was good, dude. Thank you for that. <laughs> no oh, worries. my God. That be, was... be strong and stay wise and never drink the fruit of the labors until you reach the end. <laughs> right, <Ooh. laughs> I didn't like that. You ruined it with that last one. <laughs>